Hello folks, what's up? This is Weaves from Slidenet over here. In this video, we are going to talk about the grid layout in Android. If you guys remember, the grid layout is a new layout which was released in API level 14 or your Android ice cream sandwich which is version 4.0. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basics of the grid layout and in the next video, we are going to talk about the advanced controls or you can see customization of your grid layout. So for those of you who are new to a grid layout, what is a grid layout? That's the first question you have. Very simple. You arrange views in terms of rows and columns just like your HTML table uh, tag if you guys have ever used it from an HTML background or even if you are not from an HTML background don't worry too much about it it's simply arranging stuff inside rows and columns so what you have you have to specify the number of rows and columns you want inside the grid layout now remember in the table layout which you guys have seen there was a way to specify rows you don't need to do that here you uh, Android takes care of everything automatically for you guys you just have to specify how many rows you want and how many columns you want with these two attributes which is Android row count and Android column count inside your grid layout tag in XML uh, layout file you can also control if a view takes more than one row which is uh, you're spanning multiple rows and you can also take control if a view takes more than one column in size and that is about spanning multiple columns you can also control which row which column the view is placed inside now remember every column and every row has an index over here uh, just like arrays this one if you see column one it is actually the zeroth column this is the first column this is the second column and this is the first uh, this is the zeroth row and below that you, you have row two column one which is actually inside the first row it's just like arrays starting from zero for the column numbers and row numbers multiple views can be inside the same column now this is a unique feature of your grid layout things can overlap and you have to be careful about where you're placing what you don't have to specify the width and height for any view which is inside your grid layout by default everything is wrap content in width and wrap content in height but the problem is if you're using android studio it is going to probably give you an error saying you need to define the width and height but you can go ahead and try this out in android developer tools or eclipse uh, I'm, I'm sure it may not uh, it may or may not give an error i'm not sure about that you guys can check it out so next step how to define rows and columns inside a grid layout let's say you want to make a grid layout you want to arrange stuff inside a table on your user interface in your android device let's see how to do that first you define this grid layout tag in your xml and here what i have is my grid layout opening and closing tag and there you can see there is nothing on the screen this is the first step where i say the number of rows by specifying android row count equals to two that means i say i want two rows and i want three columns and that's what i do over here next step what i do is i simply add the views inside as you guys can see over here it's the same grid layout which i've defined in the last slide which you guys saw and here i have one two three four five six text views each of them having a text which says i am r0 c0 r0 c1 c2 and so on right now as you guys can see again there's a layout height and layout width of wrap content defined for each of them you don't need to define them because they are wrap content by default but for android studio i've done this because other it gives an error otherwise so now here just to make things a bit more clear what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give background colors to each of those text views which you saw in the last slide so here if you guys notice I have some weird colors EDF DEF and so on all possible combinations of E D and F those three letters I have used them as colors over here and as you guys can see each text view has a different background color and that exactly gives us an idea of how big the text view is and where it is being placed inside the column as you guys can see this is column 0 1 2 and this is row 0 and row 1 right so now let's talk about spacing between views how can we uh, add extra spaces if we want to add stuff right so here if you guys notice I have my first column in the diagram over here and what am I what have I done over here there is 10 dp from all four sites now what is that it's simple it's a margin if you guys can take a look over here I have written Android layout margin equals to 10 dp on the first text view and what that does is places 10 dp of space outside the text view surrounding it right if you guys remember in one of, one of my videos on my playlist I have talked about what is a margin and what is a padding and what is the difference between them if you guys are confused about that you can go ahead and check it out on my playlist it's right there so this is one of the ways you can give spaces uh, between views all right now let's see the other ways over here so in my second way what I have is I have the same piece of code but instead of writing margins everywhere and making things look dirty what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this option which says Android default margins equals to true now remember your Android version depending on what version you're using and what device you're using there is already a value for default margin you can just apply it to all the views inside and as you guys can see all the views are separated by some default space I think it's about 5 dp I'm not sure about that you guys can see what the, it looks like right and then let's talk about how to skip a column so now let us consider a case where 
I have a column and I want to keep it empty. I don't want any view inside that. Now, how can I do that? Now, there are many ways to do that again, but this is one of the ways you can do it. As you guys can see over here in the diagram, I have row zero, column zero. Then row zero, column one is actually appearing inside column number two. You should remember column zero is this one, column one is this, column two is this, and that's where your column one actually appears. And I have left an empty space over here. So how did I do that? Very simple, I used this space view which is a special type of view for living uh, spaces or you, you can say keeping things blank this is, you can use this inside your grid layout so here you have your layout width of wrap content for it and your layout height of wrap content for that and that's all you need to write what happens then is your text view which is seen here first is actually placed inside the zeroth column then your space which is considered as a separate view is placed inside your first column and then you have the other text view which goes inside the second column and that's why things look like this on the screen so i hope you guys have understood something about the basics of grid layout in the next video i'm going to talk about the most advanced pr properties of grid layout like positioning and sizing and so on so if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts check me out on facebook where i talk about the hottest trends of android currently in place and i'll catch you guys later have a nice day